So we're gonna turn the stove on high and it just have a little water in the pan only because you know I rinse it. So we're gonna take our olive oil, boom, base the pan. Yes. So I choose to use olive oil because you know your girl getting fat. I mean, you know, try to be healthy. If you wanna be healthy, you can use your little regular oil if you choose to go that route. But that's what we're gonna do in this video, know what I mean? So boom. Alright, so now we peel in the garlic, you know, get the garlic going. Let's peel it, peel it, peel it until you reach, you know, the little garlic on the inside. Jesus, if she don't hurry up, peel her garlic. How long we gonna be here? Uh... Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Alright, alright, okay, okay. So you move all the little trash on the side from the garlic, you know, the little garlic, um, peelings we call it the little shell looking thing wherever you want to call it get your knife and you cut off the little edges because you want to eat your food them thing hard and look you want to eat that so we're gonna cut the garlic now oh shit she's smashing it so we're gonna smash the garlic mm-hmm and then we're gonna cut it if you have a garlic peeler whole oh, garlic peeler if you have a garlic smasher and you want to smash the garlic you could do it that way but I choose to do it this way and I mean because it does better for me and yeah so we're gonna do it this way so you cut up the garlic and try and mince it a little bit me no professional so don't judge my cutting skills this is what we're doing in this video you just follow along you cut it the way you want to cut it know what I mean so you turn the stove up a little bit I swear I had it on high already I don't know what's going on but anyways so we cut up the garlic why is she moving the camera Lord. I guess she wanted a little right angle, you know what I mean? Okay, so, boom, okay. Try your garlic, yes. You gotta make sure you hear the pot sizzling. Or if you see the pot, you know the little oil is sizzling. All right, so we're gonna stop right there, you know what I mean? So once you see your garlic sizzling in the pot, you wanna take your pot spoon and you wanna stir it up a little bit. Make sure you don't try and burn the garlic because if your garlic bun, your food done. Like that's it for your food. Your food gonna get a horrible taste once your garlic bun. Know what I mean? So we don't want it to burn. You can just keep stirring it. All right. Me know why she ain't stirring the thing because I guess she want her food to taste bad. But anyways, so right here we just gonna cut our. If you see in the corner, oops, oh god, she gone back to bun. La, I, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so in the corner now, she cut. She cut in. Um, we using ground turkey for this. We don't use beef. Well, you could use beef if you choose to use the beef. I don't personally use beef anymore for a long, 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 long time. And like tacos or like thing, I rather use ground turkey. To me, it's better. It's healthier. I don't know if it's healthier, but I just saying it's healthier. Um, so we're gonna use the ground turkey. You stir up a little bit more because you know it cooking. You don't want it to burn. Right now, I have the stove on like five, so I guess you would say medium. And we put it in the ground turkey now I didn't take these out before I started so they're still frozen um, we're just gonna drop them in there and we're gonna leave it the pot on low not low but medium you know because you don't want it to burn up and ain't cooking right so you want it to cook nicely so we're gonna we use th three ground turkeys okay three I gonna say three we use three ground turkeys so now I just point all of them inside and that's how you just slide them out yes sloop drop so that's what we're gonna do so fix up the pot make sure it on top of the stove right so everything cooking together nicely don't worry about the garlic because they you know your stove that medium so it ain't gonna burn and and the juices from the ground talking you know gonna meddle with the oil and stuff so it, trust me you good so you gonna just give it a quick stir make sure you know it kind of sticking right now so you stir it a little bit and you do that yes so then we take the pot and we'll cover it back so you give it about 20 minutes I'll see you in 20 minutes okay two hours later all right so after the 20 minutes you know you open the pot this is what we're working with you know the meat starting to get soft you scrape off all the good nice 
juicy meat on the top and you turn them you mix them around and you keep scraping so that's what we're gonna do just scrape 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 flip boom scrape 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 yes we're getting somewhere we cook it with gas well electric because they say in a gas stove Woo! you see that meat fly mm-hmm gotta clean that anyway so we're going boom yes you turn your flip scrape boom boom we gain somewhere we gain somewhere are you so no i don't lie you know no me no chef i don't just cook for me myself and the people in my house because they like my food so cover the pot and we'll be right back all right we're back again open the pot what i see how far we come so you continue doing the scraping method you know you want all the meat to come off and you want to make sure all the pieces them cook now ain't quite ready to break in half because ain't so soft yet still kind of frozen so we'll just keep scraping the meat and you kind of just keep you know doing what you do so we're gonna do that and then yeah Okay, so now we're gonna take the little adobo and we're gonna put it in. I know the meat ain't quite finished cooked, but you don't wanna really season your stuff after the fact. You know what I mean? And I know I put a recant, so I'm gonna use adobo. So don't come after me if I use an adobo. You know what I mean? This is what I like to use. So this is a little bit of garlic powder. You know, really, it gave it a little sum sum, but ain't too strong. You know what I mean? But we're gonna still add it just because. So, show you the adobo to show you what I use. All right, so I just want to put in the little seasoning before, you know, it finished cooked because you don't want it on top of the meat. When you bite in the meat, you want to taste that little flavor, you know? All right, so we're just gonna mix it around. It's still kind of frozen, but we, we working with it. You know, we working with the heat. It's still a medium, we working with it. So just keep turning it, tossing, flip it, you know? Use that wrist, look at the flick of the wrist. Yes, yes girl, you're doing a good job. Then we go flip that meat. Mm hmm Yeah, girl. Okay, so this is a little old bay seasoning. It's usually good for seafood, but I prefer to pour a little bit in there, you know, because they give it like a little spice, like a little mm, like that kick that you miss in. So I open in it because you know your girl just buy it. So we gotta open it. Close it back. Boom. I looking for the side that gonna, you know, give me the most. I open the wrong side by mistake. So close that, turn it around, open a nice side. So we're gonna try a little bit. I show you they say it's good for meat too, you know, but yeah. So we're gonna try a little bit in there, boom, just like that. Close it back, give it a little toss. Yes, we're gonna turn it, mix it. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. So just to give it that little spice, you ain't gotta try a whole lot, you know, because you don't want this meat to be too salty because the chips you're gonna use gonna be salty. Try to get unsalted chips, that way you can season your meat a little bit more to get a flavor. But also when you put in the cheese and all that stuff, it gonna be really salty. So, ooh, mm, mama, don't do that again. So, this is, yeah, you don't want it too salty. So just chop it up and, ooh, ooh, girl, get together. So I kind of squashing it so you know like the red part could just kind of like cook up good and you just gotta break up the bigger pieces so you know like it could cook on the inside so that's what we're doing right now basically we're just mashing it up because now the actual black of ground turkey got a little bit soft so we're breaking it up so we're just twisting turning using the flick of the wrist this is what we do you know yes so just keep doing your thing and just mash up the meat make sure every little piece cook because you want no no red pieces of meat in your food because then you could get a stomach ache you know what i mean so yeah okay so we're gonna cover the pot and right now we're going on a commercial break
the commercial is over, you open your pot. See what we cooking with. Okay, all the meat done, you know, melt down, melt down. So we're gonna stir and stir, stir. We're gonna stir and we're gonna break all the meat. Any big pieces you see, you kinda chop them up so everything could be cooking and cooking nicely and all together. We're gonna chop it up as much as we can. You know, turn it so every side could cook. Yeah, this is what we're doing. So right here, we're gonna add a little more seasoning because you know we had only put a little bit from before, so we're gonna just add a little more adobo to your to your meat. She done airing. What else? That's it. Okay, so you stir again, and you just kind of light simmer. Okay, so right now we're back again. We'll pin it pot. Take your little fork and you're gonna test, taste it. You know you gotta taste your meat before you do everything else. You gotta make sure the thing good. Now I mean, so I saying a little bit. We need a little more seasoning. Remember, don't overdo it because in the end you're gonna be eating a heap of salt if you do that. Because like I said, the cheese don't salty, and you get it. The chips, the chips gonna don't be salty. So don't overdo it. But you just want when you bite in the meat too, you want to taste the meat. You don't just want to taste the salt and the tap. You just want to taste the meat when you bite into it. You check. Close it back. So now that everything cook up, we take in the rotel and we turn in everything. Everything. Boom. Just like that. So now we're gonna take the pot spoon and we're gonna stir it. And just stir it. This is what we're doing. And then after you stir it up, make sure the thing nice and all even throughout the pan. Yes. After you do that. Okay, get to the pot. Jeez, how much are you going to stir? Okay, you cover it now. So you make sure everything nicely cook up. And yes, my hands are clean if you're wondering. I don't cook with dirty hands. Make sure you wash your hands. I just added a little milk, you know, to just to make it a little more creamier make the cheese you know a little more richer and just mm, just cheesy so add a little milk if you want you don't have to but I did just because I just add in a little black pepper just to give it a little extra kick spice whatever you want to call it so I'm just adding a little bit of black pepper. Your choice. You don't have to. You don't really got to follow me with all my ingredients. As in like as far as like adobo and stuff like that. You know my seasonings. You can use what you want. Whatever you feel that you like. like this is what I like. So that's what we're going to use. So now this is a finished product. And your chips. You know you get your little Tostitos chips. You take a dip. Dip and fried. Dip and so now you gotta test taste the thing just to make sure it's legit. Now I mean, can you want kill nobody else? So, mm, mm, if I could have only taste this thing, mm, yes, honey. You know when a girl get food, she just got done. So pass she cup. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, honey. Try this at home. Bye. Simma, I just want buy me a beamer. T -t -t blow up, Hiroshima. Who am I? 